there is a new control net model specially for faces. If you have been struggling to make faces with stable diffusion and control net, the new model is going to actually help you a lot in making really good faces. In this video, I'm going to talk about a new control net face model and we're going to discuss how that model has been trained and we're going to see why this model is better than your existing control net model, especially for faces. And we are also going to see how do you access this model and where can you access. To start with, I would like to quickly show you the demo or sample images that are generated out of this model. These are not the images that I tried to create. These are the images that the creator of this model explicitly mentioned that these are cherry picked examples. Even though these are cherry picked examples, these examples look really good. As you can see with the first image, you can see the mouth, how it is, the eyes and the eyebrows. And you can see how very similar the eyes and the eyebrows and the mouth and the entire face structure is. Look at the second image. If you look at the second image, once again, you can see how the face structure looks and how the output face structure looks. This is the input image and this is the output image. And now we have another image where there is again the face, the eyes, uh, the lips, and you can see the final picture. It actually works pretty well with a lot of different cases. Um, for example, if you see this image, you know that this person is looking at this direction and you can actually see this image also looks at the same direction. And it also works with different kinds of images. Like for example, this is an image where uh, the lady is actually wearing a scarf and still it can actually look at the eyes. Look at the eyes where it is. You can see where the eyes are looking and it is exactly looking at the same place and that is possible because of the new model. Not just these, this new model also works fine with a lot of images on a single picture. So if one picture has got multiple images, you can still use the new control net model to use all the photos, all the faces in the particular photo and then create images based on that. To quickly start with, if you are not familiar with control net, control net is a way to control stable diffusion outputs. So you can optimize for only one thing or a few things. For example, in this input image, everything in this image except the face structure is going to change. And that is what this control net model is doing. And that is why control net has been celebrated so much in the stable diffusion community since control net has been launched. But the problem has been that control net models, the existing control net models have not been doing phases really good. And the reason is because the existing models are either under constraint like open pose. What happens in open poses instead of drawing the face like this, it actually looks at the entire pose of the body. Like, so you don't get to capture where the eye position should be and how the face like expression should be. So that, that is one thing. So it is under constraint, for example, open pose, or it is over constrained with canny, HED, depth, like these are different ways of doing control net. So what these people want to do is they wanted to develop a new model, a new control net model that can control, that can help you control things such as orientation of the face. Like here you can see the orientation of the face is same. Orientation of the face is same. So you can control the orientation of the face and also you can, you know, control certain attributes like whether eyes are open, whether mouth is open and which direction eye is looking at. So all these informations are actually lost in the open pose model that like typically when you do face creation using control net, but this model is going to help you do that. This is going to help you do that while being agnostic about hair and face structure and uh, you know, other informations like for example, in this case, we saw um, scarf and other things. So this model has been trained. How is this model created? It has been trained. It's a control net that has been trained on lion face data set and uh, it used like using a modified output from media pipes face mesh annotator. So what these people have done is they were so kind and actually released the model that is available on Hugging Face Model Hub. Like you can literally go download the entire model on Hugging Face Model Hub, but also you can see entire data. So they have released the control net training entry point. They have released the code for data set iteration like cropping and resizing. They have released a lot more information than just releasing the models in itself. 
So you can go to this Hugging Face model hub, which is the control net media pipe face and go click the file and versions. And here you can see the models. Like I just showed you, you can see the models, the CKPT version, the safe tensor version, and you can also see helper scripts that can help you train this model. Right now, this is a stable diffusion model that works with stable diffusion V2.1. So the model that they have released here, at least the model that has been released here works with stable diffusion 2.1. They have shared the script that works with stable diffusion 1.5, but that model has not been released yet. So if you want stable diffusion 1.5, that model will be released soon that we can access. Now, how do you access this model in itself? Like what are the different ways to access one? If you already have an existing stable diffusion plus control net setup, you can literally go here, get the model and then start using it with the YAML file and the model. It's quite straightforward. But if you do not have it, they have an open PR or pull request, which means the very popular web UI here. So this web UI, they're trying to add a pull request so that people from this web UI can easily access the new control net model, the new control net face model. This PR is still open. There are some discussions around this thing, but this PR is open. Like when the PR gets merged, then you can go here and then use this stable diffusion web UI for control net and then start using it with an automatic 1111 because this is an extension for automatic 1111. So in this video, I'm going to link all the required links in the YouTube description. So you can directly go here, click and see whether the pull request has been added or not added. But if you want to check the sample images, the sample images are available in this uh, Reddit post and also it is available in this amazing hugging face model hub, which they have kindly shared with this. There are certain limitations of this model that we need to probably discuss. One is when you ask models, when you include phrases like open mouth, closed eyes, smiling, angry, looking sideways, um, these are not very well respected by the model. Like when you give a prompt and ask it to change it, but um, you know, like generally it works fine with the existing setup. They've also found that uh, the gaze direction isn't um, like particularly very good. You can see that certain examples where we saw the gaze direction, like here you can see the gaze direction is okay. Here the gaze direction is really good, but there are instances where they have found that the gaze direction is not really good. But overall, I think this is a new great addition to creating good human faces like portraits using the latest control net face model. And like I said, all the links will be in the YouTube description for you to check it out. Huge shout out to the developer who made it possible. Crucible AI, thank you so much for open sourcing this and also making the model in itself available, not just the training scripts. See you in another video. Happy prompting.